odds of being a millionaire changes as you age. There's several graphs that I want to point here, but this one broke it down racially, which I was interested in. So I talk about time relative to men. If you invest your time early in your life, by the time you hit a certain age, you should be able to hit your stride. Most men at this age, they trade in their money, attention, and time for one woman. Okay, And if that woman works out, great. Then they get to spend more money and attention and energy on her. If it doesn't work out, the social contract says she can continue to take from you because she once slept with you. What is that called? Alimony or palimony. If she can't get that from you, then she'll drag you into court for more attention. Any court she drags you in, it is an attention grab. It is not about really the money, but she can make it about the money. It is not about the time. It is about the attention that she can get from you. Because now your ass got to show up. Damn, she dragged me into the domestic violation court. Hey, uh, judge, I never put a hand on her. Matter of fact, she hit me. She in the court just soaking it up. <laughs> Made your ass skip off work. You see what I mean? This is all a kind of an attention grab. A lot of them can't walk away. So look at the money right here. Asians seem to be killing it economically here. But as you, when you're under 40 at the bottom, when you're under 40, less chance of becoming a millionaire. But as you age up over 40 and you don't get married and divorced, you don't have toxic relationships. You can invest your time into yourself. I guarantee you, you'll have better chance of hitting a million at 40 and above than the guy that got divorced already than the guy that's still chasing uh, women and running game on them and all of this g garbage, okay? Even for black men who have a low chance of being a millionaire, it still increases with age. That 40-year-old mark, I promise you, I mean, I hit, I'm in my mid-40s now. I hit that 40 and it was like, phew, it took off. Life took the hell off. I was like, wow, what happened? Well, first of all, my testosterone increased my standards in women increased. I was least likely to be with a low value woman. My money started to increase. My attention and currency started to increase. And then I said, forget the nightclub. I'm, my old ass ain't going to no damn nightclub, talking to no broad. So what? I had energy to put into other things. I'm gonna read that quote by Napoleon Hill in a second here. Look at this pay uh, chart here. The orange line is the women, or it's orange is red. That purple line is men. You hear about gender pay gap all the time. And that pay gap is associated with the time women hit the wall, the biological wall. And this is the period that they focus on. Because sometimes they might have cat kids and stepped out of their career, or they hit the point where that degree no longer has value and their earning has peaked they decided to go major in something and that value, you know, it made money between up until age 32, but now that degree doesn't make as much money. But look at where men's income peaks. Okay, early 20s, this is when you struggle with women because you have no meat or no money to exchange with them, right? You know, have, you're broke. <laughs> this is why Young men say, I will never pay for women. I will never take her ass out to Applebee's. I'm going to get the peace leave for free. Well, you're saying that because you're broke, right? $250 to you right now will break, break your bank. To an older man, it's pennies in the damn. It's a drop in the bucket. So it doesn't matter to an older guy. This is why you see, do you see older men with younger women? Now, maybe not in Pennsylvania. <laughs> but go to LA, New York, DC, Miami, Houston, Dallas. See, you're going to see young women at Mastro's chatting it up with older men. No problem, no sweat. Because they're there for his resource. But take, take a look at where men take off. The women's peak right there, 40, 41, sometimes it's a little bit. Look at where it shoots off. 40, phew gone and they could do this well until 60 65 70. watch a tv show and they bring out some old expert like an expert as a male the expert for the woman will be a young woman 25 
She'll look good. She'll have long hair. Blah, 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 blah. Watch they'll bring out the male expert. It'll be an old ass man. It'll be Alan Dershowitz ass old ass man. Well, here's the expert, the legal expert, and it's an old ass man. Why? Because he has value. And he's going to continue to earn well into it because he can. Have y'all seen 70 year old women grinding at work? 50-year-old women grinding at work. They're ready to pack it in, and they're ready to find a man. They ain't grinding to 50, 60, 70. The rare exception proves the rule. But men, I've seen handymen, 65, picking up ladders. I swear to God, I saw these two handymen. I mean, they, I don't know what they were doing, construction guys. I was like, damn, 60, 62. And they were grinding because they have to, because that's what we do. That's part of our social contract. 